His son calls him Ross Geller from Friends. It's the multiple marriages thing. Shame on you. Ugly baby judges you. Back to Parker Springfield on Rewind. So I need your help on this one because I'm not really sure if this is a great idea or if this is something a psychopath would do, but uh, it's... I just think it's creepy. I just think the whole thing is creepy here. So uh, a family in Australia lost their puppy dog, uh, their beloved golden retriever, after a very long and very happy life. Nice, good puppy, and they loved this dog, right? Instead of just burying this dog, which is what most people would do, right? Or maybe have him cremated, something like that. They actually decided to turn him into a bearskin rug. And they turned their dog into a bearskin rug. A taxidermy place near Melbourne uh, posted a video of this, actually, of the finished product on Instagram the other day. They said the family wanted to preserve the pelts. So basically, it's a bearskin rug. So now their dog is finally ready to head home. Now, to be fair, I'm going to say it's kind of almost like having the dog there with you, right? Laying down the ground. I can see that. It's just not breathing. It, it, the fur is soft. You can still pet them. It's kind of weird, though, right? It's, it's, but it's your dog is a rug. Would you do this? Would you do this? Would you actually do this? Uh, make your comments on our Facebook page. It, your dog's a rug. It's a little bit different than like you know petting your your dog. Uh, the reaction from most people are a little bit mixed. There's some positive comments early on, but most of the people online are saying. Uh, this is a bit too creepy for their liking, uh, and I'm not sure I would want to do this with my dog, too. I mean, this is a constant reminder of, of somebody you miss, right? It's a little too much.